Today I'm going to tie a version of the Black Ghost Sonker, uh, a version that's been really popular and really effective for Lake Thingvallavatn here in Iceland for the big brown trout. Uh, I'm sure it works on your waters as well, so please try it out. Uh, as you know, the Black Ghost, uh, I mean, you've got the white wing, black body and yellow uh, color and tail. We're going to do it pretty much the same, but we're going to do it with sunburst. Sunburst color and tail with a white wing. This little color change really works for the big brown trout here, here in Iceland. Uh, so the hook I'm going to use is from A-Rex. It's the MS-118. This is the classic streamer hook from A-Rex. This is a size 6. You can do, go up a size or down a size. It's entirely up to you. I've already placed a silver cone at the end. This is just a brass cone, no tungsten here. And put some lap wraps as well to help it get down. Now the thread I'm going to use is from Techstream. This is the power thread. Uh, a really great thread for when you're tying streamers. Practically unbreakable. Now, as I said, this is a play on the Black Ghost, and we here in Iceland we really like the Black Ghost fly uh, in, in uh, multiple versions. Uh, I'm going to start with the tail, and that's going to be from the Sonko strip. You can't do this with a hackle, of course, with orange and, and, and the yellow hackle, but I find that the Sonko version is much easier and I don't know, I, I just like it more. Now what I like to do is I snip a bunch of hairs from the sunker strip lengthwise maybe half a shank. Secure it. There we go. Now for the wing, I'm using barbed, barbed white sunker strips. Uh, this is a rabbit. I like the rabbit for this one. Of course, you can use squirrel or, or muskrat or pretty much anything. But I like the rabbit for this one because the hairs are a bit longer than the uh, than the squirrel gives the fly a little bit more body. Secure it with a couple of wraps, a couple more in front. And you're good to go. Now for ribbing, uh, I think. It's classic to use uh, gold wire. Uh, you can use silver as well. Today I'm going to use a red one. This is just a red UTC wire. Uh, just like the like how the color plays out. Tie it in behind the lead wraps and down the length of the shank. There you go. Now for the body, uh, I'm going to use black Antron yarn. This is from Techstream. Uh, you can also do black dubbing and brush it out to give the fly a little bit more body. But this time I'm just going with the classic. Tie it in just behind the lead. down the length of the shank. Now 
Now, when you wrap the antron, I do it the old fashioned way. I just use my hands. You can use your rotary wise or, or something like that to make it go faster. There you go, tie it off. Now for the wire, uh, you can do the wing two ways. You can either do it like I'm gonna do, just wrap the wire forward and tie the wing down using the thread, or you can use the wire and go through the wing, as I'm probably sure you've seen somewhere else. Uh, that's a good method, but I like this one better. Uh, I've never had a wing come loose on my fly because of this, uh, so I trust it. Secure the wire. Helicopter away. Now when you secure the wing, wet your fingertips a bit to split the hairs. Grab on tightly to the to the skin. Pull it forward, one loose wrap, tighten it, another loose wrap, tighten, and then two or three tight wraps. There you go. Now, the length of the wing. Uh, see a little bit better like this. The length of the wing, I'm aiming usually for the skin underneath to be about as long as the tail. I like to cut it in a V shape. There you go. Something like this. Now I like to add some flash to the fly. And I use this crystal flash here. Uh, this is uh, the color is pearl, I think. Uh, I've used orange as well, red, just something to draw the attention. Now, when you tie it in, I like to double it over, do one side at a time. There, same on the other side. Double it over. and secure. Lengthwise, I like to go a little bit shorter than the wing. There. Now for the collar, uh, I'm using the same rabbit sunker, sunker excuse me, as I used before. Uh, I'm gonna spin the collar, uh, split the thread, or you can use a dubbing loop. And I've already come prepared because I've placed the sunker material inside my material clip. Uh, if you don't know how to do this, I suggest you uh, check out my other Black Coast, or yeah, my Black Coast sunker flies uh, here on YouTube. Uh, where I go in detail on how to do this. Basically, it's just about splitting the thread with your needle. 
putting some dubbing wax on it for a grip. And place your material inside the thread. Now when you spin it, you grab with your right hand beneath the material and spin the bobbin. Keeping tension on the thread with your right hand. Now this thread, the power thread, it's quite slippery. It's probably not the best thread to do this with, but it's definitely possible. But the standard thread will give you more grip. There you go. Pull the hairs back while you're wrapping. There. Now to finish off, it's a good trick to put some varnish on your thread before you tie it off. A couple of wraps. And set your knot between the material and the cone. There you go. Now, this looks a bit wild. That's quite okay. Won't look as wild when it gets wet. You can brush it out. Any trapped fibers or hairs. So the Black Ghost Sunburst ready to do some damage at Lake Thinkalavatn or pretty much any water that holds some brown trout. Ties them up. Thanks for watching.